How's it going everyone? So the other day I was asked if I could post a video uh, of an example of my Google review sheet using uh, Google Excel. And you know, this is just something I did towards the end of my MCAT studying when I was doing my full length practice exams, but it's really something I wish I had done all through college uh, when studying for any class because it was a really nice place to consolidate a lot of information that I needed to review. Um, you know, all in one place rather than having to go back through old exams and old practice questions. Um, and, you know, the level of organization you can have on Google Sheets is awesome. And, you know, you can even you can make it a lot more organized than what I did. But this is just something I did uh, towards the my towards the end of my MCAT studying. So this is my full length uh, review Google Sheet. And this is where I held all of my you know, review stuff for all the full length practice exams I took. So there's you know, there's a lot of uh, a lot of rows here. It went all the way to like 300 something and this is just where I put things that you know I I missed you know everything I missed went on here and even things that I even got right but didn't get right because I actually knew it um, or even things that I did get right and I just wanted to make sure that at some point between then and the MCAT you know I went and reviewed it again and again this is just something you could be doing for any class you know not just for the MCAT and so this was just how I organized it. So you'll see all the way to the left, it says the section, you know, and then the question. That way I know exactly where that idea or that question came from. Um, and again, that, you know, if I need to go back to the actual source, then I know exactly where to go. And so you'll see it says, you know, KL, FL, number one, slash P, that stands for Kaplan, full length number one, chemistry and physics. And so I know exactly what section of Kaplan, full length number one that came from. Um, if you haven't taken, you know, the Kaplan full length and you plan on it, you know, don't pay too much attention so that you don't, you know, spoil the uh, full length exam for yourself. But you'll see there's a lot of color coding. And it's a pretty intuitive color co coding. So you know things that are in green are things that I'm like, okay, I've got I've got it pretty down. I you know pretty easy. I probably don't need to really review it again. But it you know it ended up on here for a reason. And when you actually make your review sheet, at first what it's gonna look like, it's actually not even gonna be like filled in. Like when you're first putting questions in, it's pretty much gonna like all be white. And you know you're gonna start going through it, and you're gonna go through okay. You know, uh, that's my first review after going through all the questions I got wrong. And now maybe like the next day you're reviewing these things and you kind of go through it and you're like, OK, you know, this was a this was pretty you know difficult. But, you know, I think I kind of got it. I'm going to mark it as a yellow or, you know, this one was super easy. I, 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 know, I don't even know why I missed it. I'm just going to mark it as green. And that's kind of how you end up with, a, you know, color coding, you know, towards the end of it. Um, and so it really didn't look like this at first you'll see like a lot of green right now but at first you know there's a lot of red a lot of red and yellow mainly uh red because you know a lot of what you're putting on here is things you got wrong and you know as you're as you go through and review it you pretty much change the the scaling so for example you'll see this one was red and that's because you know by the end of it i truly never felt very comfortable with uh you know bomb calorimetry and that, you know, it never pretty much, you know, graduated into yellow and graduated into into green. But a lot of these that are green, you know, they were probably yellow or red at one point. And just over, you know, the courses of reviewing this, I think I reviewed this probably once a night, you know, for the last couple, you know, week or so, you know, few weeks leading up to the MCAT. Uh, I kind of tried to review it, you know, as I would go through the full links. And um, the couple of sections, you know, we have the topic. And why did I miss? That's the section I filled in, you know, the most. I didn't always fill in the last one, but why did I miss was, you know, this is where you really tell yourself, like, you know, here I said, I guess the passage said it would reach equilibrium, add a new state, a new graph, where it was decreased. So basically, why I missed was because I didn't notice that the passage had this detail, and that's why and you know it could be a reason for missing details you just straight up didn't know it you know there's you know i had some like right here it says lack of knowledge um i must have forgotten that the reading has an oh group um you know stuff like that and that's where that's where you put why you missed it because you know as important as it is to get a question right and to know what the answer is it's really just as important to know why you missed that question because chances are you're not going to make the same mistake twice like i probably never forgot after that that three and had an oh group attached to it um and so that you know this is that's a pretty you know important section uh, a lot of it was lack of knowledge you know the mcas a lot of material on it 
and that's you know I would just put things like you know I've got calculating um, you know delta H and just kind of a simple equation so I could look back and be like okay yeah that's you know I, I should remember that's how I do that um, <laughs> you've got a couple so dark red is like you know really bad like I guess I I probably never got back to these but you know return to this when you're less sleepy you know even like little things you know it keeps you accountable it keeps you proactive in your studying um, sometimes I'd go on the internet and I would pull up entire you know blocks of information so I must I found this equation and I had all the you know the variables that way I never forgot the equation for osmotic pressure and um, so this last section is what to review what to do differently so this is kind of a follow-up on the why did I miss I didn't always fill this in but it's a good way to kind of like be you know again more proactive in how you're gonna not get it wrong the next time so a lot of this was you know pay more attention pay more attention pay more attention this you know this was tricky and you know there's always gonna be tricky things uh, knowledge base so just straight up didn't really know this um, now I know you know it turned green and uh, you know how how what am I gonna do differently on here review amino acid structure so again a lot of the reason you make a Google sheet and why in my MCAT study video I say make a Google sheet while you're going through practice questions while you're going through full lengths is because it's a really good way to be proactive in your studying and give yourself a place to consolidate all this information into one place so that you know uh, maybe every night before the M the MCAT maybe the few weeks or even if you're in undergrad and you're doing exams you know every night before you know the upcoming exam you kind of just you know you breeze through it I would just lay in bed on my laptop go through it read it you know see if I'm you know see why I missed it um, and it's just a great way to be proactive you know it kind of gives you a plan like why did I miss this what am I gonna do differently how am I gonna not get it wrong the next time um, it's a great place to stay organized and it's it's really encouraging too when you uh, you know when this turns from red and yellow to green you know there there ended up being a lot of green you know there's still a lot of red you know you can't get everything right especially on the MCAT but um, that's pretty much it. This is my example of the Google Sheet. I do recommend doing it. If you uh, haven't watched my MCAT study video, that's pretty much what I recommend doing uh, when you're doing any sort of practice questions is just consolidating it all. And for the MCAT specifically, I would do like a full length review and then also do like a, you know, practice question review. If you're in classes, you know, do this for, you know, do this for your classes, do, you know, anatomy and physiology review, chemistry review, you know, it's a great idea. It's something I wish I had used in undergrad and, uh, you know, maybe next year in med school it might be something I do as well. So that's pretty much all I got. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.